Mattermost is a group chat system that also does direct messages. Messages are saved and searchable, which allows the retention of project knowledge and allows people to see what happened while they were out or for new team members to get quickly caught up on what's going on with the project. It's especially good when your team is geographically distributed. Files can be uploaded as well for some simple file sharing, but this isn't really a replacement for a robust file sharing platform like Office 365 and OneDrive or Dropbox or any of those types of things. Now this is self-hosted, it's not done in the cloud, so uh, you don't have to worry about whether that service is gonna go away or what country it happens to be hosted in. It's open source, so if you don't like how something works, feel free to modify it and submit that back and help improve the product. It is web-based, but there are applications, both desktop and mobile as well. So let's jump in and see how to use it. I've set up a demo server here for us to try out. And we log in with email address or username. In this case, I'll use the username. And so this is the basic interface. We can see the users. The town square is where everybody gets added by default. So uh, if you want to send a message to the entire team, this is the place you do that. So if you want to join a channel, you can click on more here to look for additional channels. In this case, there doesn't happen to be any more channels to join, but I could just click here and go and preview it and join. If you want to make your own channel, you can click the plus, give it a name, and optionally purpose and header if you'd like. And then hit create new channel down there at the bottom. Now again, this is going to make it public. Anybody on the server can come in and see this. So if you want it to be private, we can either click create a private channel up here, or we can go down to the plus by private channels. That's going to restrict it only to the people that have access to that channel. And when their access gets removed to that channel from that channel, they will no longer be able to search or access its history either. Likewise, if you create a private channel and add someone later to it, they will be able to see the full history of that channel even before they were added. So just, again, something to be aware of. If you want to send a direct message to someone on the server, you can add them here. And you can add up to seven people, which is very similar to a small private channel, but in general, it's better to do a private channel if you're going to do a group. Uh, unless it's a very temporary kind of thing, like, hey, what do you guys want to have for lunch? Then you could do that. Although that could also be an off topic. Uh, so now I've got a private chat, and I can see that Michael's not online right now. Now if you hit at, you can do uh, a mention. So you can see I hit at, and it started popping up the users. So now Michael will get a notification. So I can now over here to the channel and I'm going to add a member. So now Michael has been added to this channel. So he will see this channel automatically over here and won't have to search for it. If you are mentioned uh, with the at uh, you will, and you're not online or you've been idle for a while, it will send you an email notification to let you know that, hey, somebody's trying to get in, in contact with you. Uh, if there's an important topic we can uh, that we need to follow up on we can click that flag for follow-up and this is just for that just for me now it'll say that I can click over here and see all the things that I flagged that I know I need to go back to uh, if there's something that I want everybody to be able to see I can go over here and pin it to the channel so now anybody that comes up here and clicks this pin will see hey there's these important posts up here everybody needs to take a look at it search again up here I can just type in and I can see that. I can jump right to it. It'll tell me where it is so I can see the full context of it. If you click on those three dots up there, uh, there's a bunch of options. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, account settings has a few things that uh, would be good for everybody to look at. Uh, in addition to the basics of making sure your name is correct, position, if you'd like to put it in there, you can add a profile picture. Um, update your password. There's a few other options here, changing how the mentions work uh, and then notifications. Change your theme if you don't like these colors. And But interestingly, down here in this last one under advanced, there's some preview release features that give you the option of uh, a few things that have not made it to the officially stable list, but are in there if you'd like to use them. In particular, I'd recommend the emoji picker. Uh, which is always a nice feature. 
if you want to do emojis. So now down here, I have this little guy that I can click and just easily add emojis. The last thing I want to talk about is the desktop apps. So if you want to find all the apps, of course, for mobile, they're in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, but also on desktop here, if you log in and go to the three dots and then download apps, you'll see go to the download. And this is going to allow it to run outside of my browser. So rather than having to open up whatever your favorite browser is and go to Mattermost, it'll always be running in the background. Uh, you'll get notifications in the Windows Notification Center. So it'll make that very convenient. It loads on the startup for you. Uh, there's no special install. Once I run this, I get that little screen. And now I have the desktop app. So there is some configuration you have to do here. The server name is what you choose to display it as. Let's call it IDSI. Put in your server address. And that's it. So I can tell I want to start on login. Uh, I'd like it to flash, but uh, you don't have to do that. And of course, spell check is, is on by default. And I can click on IDSI. It'll take me there. And there I am. So now I see I've got that one unread message. I can see, oh, I've been mentioned by IDSI developer up here because they wanted me to join this chat. And there we go. So one nice thing about sharing files with this, as I mentioned, you can you can do it uh, very simply by dragging and dropping uh, straight on to either the app or the website. You can add multiple if you want. See even the animated GIFs are there. Uh, if you click the file, it goes to download it. It does not do an online edit. There's plenty more to explore on here. I'll leave it to you to explore or feel free to ask me questions.